Oh, did I just find something so helpful for memorizing. One of my favorite things to share are epiphanies, like beautiful, magical things that you're just, that they're so obvious. And you're like, why didn't I think of this before? One part of my memorizing routine is to recite out loud one line at a time until I memorize everything and can just say it without, without even thinking about it. And today I was just having a hard time like concentrating and memorizing. And so I thought, okay, maybe I just need a little break. Maybe I should go on a walk. And then I thought, why not both at the same time? I got on the treadmill and I set a timer for 15 minutes. Sometimes when I'm memorizing, I like to set a timer. So I'm like, okay, don't quit too early. Sometimes my brain is just like all about memorizing and I don't need a timer. I can just keep going until I'm done with whatever I'm working on. And sometimes nothing sticks. And it's so frustrating. For me, 15 minutes is just like a good minimum amount of time. It's like, okay, just do it for 15 minutes. Do it today for 15 minutes and then that chore is done for today. I got on the treadmill and started walking and then when I had the urge to like go do something real quick, I had a physical reminder that I couldn't, that I had to keep going. Walking away from the couch is a lot easier than having to walk away from the treadmill because you have to stop the treadmill, turn it off, and then go do something else. The treadmill was a physical reminder that I just had like a few more minutes to go and the ground moving under me somehow like created this rhythm of concentration. 15 minutes later, I had memorized the whole page and the time just flew by. Memorizing is definitely a muscle though. So if you're just starting out in like your memorizing practice, um, you might be able to do like a paragraph in 15 minutes or maybe five pages in 15 minutes. Doing this is actually pretty obvious if you think about it because more oxygen to your brain is good for brain function. And then exercising releases endorphins, which puts you in a good mood. And it's really good for memorizing because often I am so frustrated about having to memorize. And then being frustrated just makes memorizing harder. Like there's like a mental block. Cause sometimes it's annoying, you know? Like I just wanna get this part over with so I can actually get up and start acting so I can play with the character. If you're having trouble memorizing, try it out. Go out for a walk or get on the treadmill, set a timer and do not allow yourself to stop memorizing before the timer ends. Just, if you're distracted, acknowledge it and then come back like in uh, meditating, you know, if you've ever done that. And then just take note on how it felt different or how it worked differently than your usual memorizing routine. And this goes without saying, hopefully, but please only do it if you can do it safely. If you have nothing to memorize right now because you don't have any self-tape audition requests, uh, you can just pick up a book and choose a page and practice your memorizing by memorizing that one page. Or you can watch this video on how I've gotten almost 100 auditions so far this year.